What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. It is Sunday here at Double Jump. Guess what Abby's doing? She's trying to beat my high score that I set yesterday. Yeah, out of luck. The high score was 270,000 and I got 400,000. Don't know how it happened. I was at 200,000 when I started this one level and then once I finished that level, it was at 400,000. Don't know how it happened, but I now have the high score, but we got, we've been doing pretty good, pretty good in sales so far, but we got a pretty awesome trade in. So, um, another guy called and he has a bunch of systems and games that he's going to be bringing in. I already told him that we're being really picky and we're going to pass on like all the Atari stuff, all the Genesis systems, unless they're in box. I think he said he had one in the box. There's a super Nintendo system in the box. I told him we'd pass on the NES systems unless they're top loaders, but he said he has games for everything. So uh, it sounds like he's got like an entire like trunk load of stuff and he's on, in, he's on his way in shortly. But uh, the other trade in was from my buddy Josh. So let's go through and take a look at that stuff. This is that first bundle guys. We're gonna go through it here. We got some Atari games, nothing super special. I'm trying not to take Atari stuff, but this is from a buddy of mine, and it was kind of like an all-or-nothing kind of deal. Got some PS1 games. This is Incredible Crisis, but no manual. Uh, N64. It does have the expansion pack. It's got both cables. Came with four controllers, but all the sticks need to be replaced. And we got... Uh, this one is factory sealed. Finally got in a copy of Catherine. People have asked for that. Donkey Kong Crash. Mega Man Legends. Medieval. Two Crash games. You got three plushes here, all with their tags. So Stranger Things, an E.T., and then this one. It's called Meanies Shocking Stuffers. Not exactly sure what it is, but I'll just go in the $3 bin. Then we got a Rob the Robot with most of his pieces. And I'm going to be holding on to this one to try to complete my deluxe set box that I got from, uh, from the Portland Swap. Got a Super Nintendo mouse, Light Boy, NES controller. This weird Star Trek game for the Commodore 64 NES game, complete copy of Ocarina of Time. Got this little sealed kid robot Crash Bandicoot figure. Two box manual and insert only NES Max. So there's no controllers. We have controllers to complete them though. Uh, Zaxxon for the Atari 400 and 800 computer. Greatest heavyweights for the Genesis. Couple DS games here, memory card. Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, N64 uh, Rumble Pack and Memory Card, and then we have this Keyblade, which is pretty cool. It's like a plastic one from like GameStop or something. Um, still super cool. And then we also got this box from him. These are all complete in-box in television games. So I don't know, like, I didn't look any of these up. I didn't want to. Um, lazy. Tron. Yeah, I was being lazy. Most likely nothing special, but I guess we'll find out later. Um, <clears throat> so there's those, and then where's the last box, Abby? No. Oh, over here. The best stuff are all of these NES boxes. He told me that they didn't have any manuals, but I haven't double checked them myself. And he found all these at the Goodwill outlet. So there could be a couple manuals, I'm not sure, but I'll be keeping whatever I don't have out of here. I know for a fact that I'm keeping Life Force and Akari Warriors. Not sure on the rest. I have Dragon Warrior, I have Stealth ATF, I have Monopoly, I have Bases Loaded, um, I have 10 Yard Fight, I have the Pac Man. So a lot of these will be coming to the store, but probably my copies because these ones are all in really really nice condition so no cartridges here but that's fine like i said most of these will be at the store but i have to compare them to mine and see which ones i'm going to keep but super awesome stuff he found all these at the goodwill outlet which is crazy because these don't weigh much he paid probably an average of five cents per box based on the weight maybe even less than that so that's insane super cool but that is the end of the first bundle that came in. We just got another big bundle, which I'll show you guys now. So here is the second bundle, guys. Um, 
the all the Atari stuff was donated. We told him we'd have to pass on it, and he just gave it to us, which happens pretty often, but... With Atari. With Atari, yeah. So there's all those. There's one TI-99 game. The Dreamcast controller and the PSP charger we actually did take and pay for, but the DJ Hero with the dongle, the Atari stuff, that was all donated. And then we also have this here. So some Super Nintendo games, Lion King. And we'll just go down like this. There's a few good ones, the Choplifter 3, Mario, Star Fox, Mega Man, of course. And then we have some NES games. These are probably the best two of the lot, but you know, decent stuff. Couple Mario Bros. Duck Hunts in here. Sight Bike, Wrecking Crew, Simpsons, and Spy Hunter. And then we have the manuals for most of the Super Nintendo games, but then also some manuals for games that are not here, like the Rocko's Modern Life is not in there. Um, then we have some Game Boy games. Nothing too special on those. The one with no label is Tetris. Earthworm Jam is probably the best, and it's only like an $8 game. Two Genesis games. Actually, I never even opened this case. Yeah, it's in there. And then we have the boxed Genesis. I will most likely be holding on to this one. It's in really, really rough shape, but it's a Sonic Spinball bundle with the Model 2. Then we have a Super Nintendo system in the box. This one is complete. There's a lot of stuff rattling around inside the system, but it's got all the cables, controllers, styrofoam. Uh, I don't think it had the paperwork though. PS2 memory card, couple Game Boy systems here. One of these won't even turn on. The other one, the speaker doesn't work. This one has horizontal lines of dead pixels, and this one works perfectly. These three do not have battery covers. That one does. Then we have a Game Genie, but this little thing is snapped. A Game Shark, which is super awesome. And then a complete inbox Pokemon Yellow, which it's not great, but it's not in bad shape. So pretty cool. And that was the second bundle that came in. Uh, Josh went to get some food, but he's here today, of course, with... Me and Abby. Abby, say hello. Hi. So that's everything so far. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start editing yesterday's vlog now. So we finished up at the store, guys. Uh, we didn't really stay late tonight, which we've done quite a bit recently. Um, but yeah, we did pretty good today. Uh, we took in a lot of trades, which is kind of what we're trying to not do. But at the same time, the stuff that we did take in is all pretty good. And the stuff that we the stuff that isn't good that we got was donated, so, um, so yeah, we did pretty good in sales and all that, and, uh, nothing else came in after that last bundle. Uh, one guy did bring some stuff, but he ended up deciding to keep it. Um, it was, like, low-end, low-end N64 and GameCube games. Uh, the best game he had was a Four Swords for GameCube, but it was disc only. Um, and there was, like, an N64 controller, so he decided to keep that stuff because I was only able to offer, like, 35 bucks. But other than that, nothing else came in, so there was really not much else to film at the store. But uh, Abby and I are home now, of course. I'm in the game room just working on stuff once again. The past few nights, we've stayed at the game store at least an hour late just working on stuff. So tonight we got out of there at 9.23, <clears throat> which is much better than 10.23. So I have some extra time to work in the game room here. And I think I've made room for Master Chief. And it's not perfect because he does take up so much room, but I've shifted the couch over to the left from where it was, and I got Master Chief sitting there. So let's take a look. There's still boxes everywhere. It's still really messy in here, but as far as like placement of him and the couch goes, this is where I'm at right now. Couch is here. Master Chief is there. There is still enough room if I move the box of trash. There's still enough room to walk through here. This is a, you know three foot gap almost so there's plenty of room to walk through this table is not staying in here um this table and i had to move that that chest um and then we got master chief here and there's plenty of room to walk on this side this is like a four foot gap five foot gap maybe and then there's plenty of room for the door to open as you can see so i think that this might work for the time being. Um, I don't want it to stay like this. He, like, not only does he take up a large amount of space on the ground, but, I mean, he's, like, in the way of everything. Um, so I still may move him to the garage. I'm not 100%. Like I said, I really don't want it to stay like this. My plan was to, well, we were using that 
as like an end table almost on that side of the couch. And what I wanted to do was get a second one and put on the other side of the couch and then get like, uh, like, a, like pieces of glass cut to fit so that we're not putting anything directly on the chest, but we have like, has like a glass covering and just use like a little rubber things to, to hold it on there. But I don't know. What do you think, Arya? What do you think? Do you have any thoughts? No? What about you, Conehead? Do you have anything to say? No? You can see the thing on her ear. She's probably not going to let me show you underneath it. I don't want to hurt her. You can kind of see some stitches. Ugh, and her, her cone needs to be cleaned every night because she drinks water and eats food and gets it all gross. Um, but what, the main problem with having this thing in here is that the cats, well, Arya doesn't do it, but Zelda does. Zelda will scratch on this. And I really don't want her to do that, obviously. This thing is not not cheap. It's already got some little chips and stuff. Those are not from Zelda. Those were already there, but we don't need any more. So, I don't know. This is not a permanent position for him at all, but it might work for now. Um, if I put him in the garage, I'm going to have to cover him with like a tarp or something and just, just leave him there until who knows what. <laughs> until we get a second location for the store, or we get to expand the store over into another spot. I don't know. So that's where he is for now. I'm going to continue working on the game room here. I know I've given you guys a pretty good preview of what's to come just by filming this clip, but uh, the room tour is most likely going to be filmed on Wednesday, and I might actually stay home from the store tomorrow, just let Abby run things, and... Uh, I might be filming my What I Still Need for the N64 collection video. A couple of you guys have expressed interest in seeing that, so I may do that tomorrow. And then, don't forget, on Tuesday, we're going to be doing the live sale, which is going to be here on YouTube. Basically, how I'm going to do it is, you know, I'll pick out a few things that I want to sell, try to sell those, whether they sell or not, eventually we'll move on to some other stuff, and uh, I'll just take requests basically say what are you guys looking for if i have it i'll pull it out we'll give the give the price and then if anyone wants it if anyone claims it then we'll i'll put a sticky note on it with the name and the amount and we'll put it to the side and then once the live stream is over after an hour or two not exactly sure how long i'll do it but once that's over um i'll get in contact with everyone we'll get paypal stuff taken care of and then we'll get everything shipped out so it's going to be a good time Hope you guys will tune in on Tuesday for that.